Well, we're nearly two weeks into the Games Workshop controversy over the Adeptus Custodes being turned female. (laughs) The future is female. The Force is female. And Warhammer is female. (laughs) Except for the gamers. Uh, Very bad move on their part. But there's been a lot of rumors as to why this happened, and uh, a lot of YouTube channels speculated that Amazon made the the decision to do this, Uh, and I think we've ruled that out at this point. Uh, As much as I'm sure Amazon's looking to do things in their show, I don't think they actually care what's happening in the miniatures game or in the lore that's coming along with it. And so uh, while those things are happening, uh, I think they're just uh, parallel silos, uh, let's say. Uh, they're 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 both going along in tandem towards uh, their intended targets, uh, which is DEI and ESG, and both companies are doing so. I th- I think independently, and I'm going to show you why I think that Amazon doesn't have anything to do with this, and why Games Workshop is just doubling down themselves, uh, based on our analysis over the last couple of weeks, and go over a couple of the controversies. Uh, my name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling science fiction author, and I've been working independently since 2017. Uh, I got banned from conventions back then, uh, and the first one that banned me was my local one called Bacon. I'm in California, believe it or not. <laughs> I know. Uh, and uh, yes, I, I'm okay. <laughs> but uh, I got banned from there because I said, hey, I wrote them a letter. I said, hey, these conventions shouldn't be about uh, politics. They should be about fun. Uh, all, all of what you're doing now, I, I noticed the programming used to be about, hey, you know, it used to be this best Star Trek, a Warhammer panel, a, a whatever panel, and and we'd have we'd have fun coming together as a community. Uh, and then it just sort of changed over the years, uh, and it became uh, minorities in fiction, LGBTQ in fiction, uh, how to be an ally. It's like, wait a minute, are we talking about fiction or are we talking about your sexual fetishes? Uh, because you know, this this used to be a science fiction convention. Well, they banned me, uh, and uh, and that it, from there, you know, they, it got me mildly e-famous to where a bigger convention, the World Science Fiction Convention, banned me, uh, and then I got blacklisted from publishing. Uh, and so I, I I didn't take that as something where I was just going to lie down and quit, uh, or or uh, I'm I'm a fighter, right? Uh, and so I uh, decided to just make my own books, and I I was with a couple publishers for a while who were great. Uh, and then I struck out on my own uh, and just do my own work. Now, I've got a couple editors who do wonderful work with me too, but I, I never censor myself and I never tone down my setting uh, to what any corporation wants. This is not like your watered down science fiction. This is like your classic science fiction of old. So if you like the good classic stuff, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, let me know if you if you do. You guys remember Paul Anderson? I'm a big Paul Anderson fan and uh, uh, big uh, into his uh, Ensign Flandry. Eh, Ensign Flandry. Uh, and other uh, uh, books in that series. Uh, and I try to do like those types of classic honor. I'm, I'm really into Babylon 5, uh, the 90s show, uh, and uh, the classic pulps, E.E. Uh, e. Doc Smith. If you if you like that kind of stuff, I really think you're going to enjoy The Stars Entwined in the, the full series here. It's available on ebook and audiobook, uh, print edition, whatever you like, uh, however you like to read your books. And I know you like to read your books uh, because, uh, you know, I've got the Horace Heresy books too. And uh, I know how fun those are. So let's start some new lore. Come join me and come join the anti-censorship here. Uh, and uh, thanks so much for being here. You guys have come in hard over the last week, and you're awesome. Awesome people who I want to cater to. And I wouldn't imagine not wanting to cater to you. I mean, that's ins- that's insane. Uh, but this is what Warhammer is these days. They don't want to cater to you. They want you gone. They want to replace you with different audiences. And this is their post from April 26th, about a week ago. Uh, where you, they've been following up ever since uh, two weeks ago when when it was discovered that they added in the female custodies, uh, and they said that, that fateful day, that fateful post where they said, it's always been that way, uh, gaslighting and lying to you. Uh, they've made an effort to change their lore all the way around and pretend like it has always existed like this uh, rather than actually listening to you as customers. They banned you uh, from uh, from Facebook groups, They've banned you from Reddit. They blocked you on Twitter. I've seen many, many such cases of these uh, situations. And uh, doing so to people who invest tens of thousands of dollars in your hobby, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, And so, but they're doing it. And this is a a post to their website where they're uh, they're trying to get new people in, right? And they're trying to talk about the female Adeptus Custodes and, and, and watch this as it goes on here. So, uh... The rumor started again, like that 
Henry Cavill and Amazon were at war over this, and that's what this is about. I that might be the case with the show over there, uh, and he's probably not happy. He is an Adeptus Custodes player, by the way, uh, in Warhammer, and so I'm sure he is annoyed by this, much like we are as fans, as a fan himself, and that's something that uh, is is a hundred percent true. Uh, also, a hundred percent true is I I think War- Games Workshop's working independently on this. I think they've been replaced themselves with a bunch of woke weirdos uh, running this corporation and running it into the ground. They're they're obsessed with like the environmentalism of their minis now. Uh, they're they're virtue signaling to all these uh, LGBTQ groups uh, with their with White Dwarf magazine. Yeah, you might have seen the painted figures on that the other day. Um, all this happened before Amazon, and and these decisions were made about the Adeptus Custodes going forward, probably before Amazon. I mean, th- these companies usually are a year or two ahead of uh, these sorts of deals with their productions. And so this seems to be independent at this point. And and what tells me this, again, uh, you know, when we came out yesterday with uh, finding these novels uh, by Mike Brooks, this is my website, Phantom Pulse, for, for your new stuff, uh, and we saw just like how crazed this was and how these books that are already out have pronouns in them, have gender ideology in them. And this one here, he actually makes a villain out of Sargon. Uh, Sargon is <laughs> in the book as a villain. Uh, he's a slaver. Uh, he's got a, he's a loud mouth in, in, this, in the series here. And uh, this was clearly a shot at Carl Benjamin. Now, Amazon didn't dictate that. That, that was Games Workshop and their editors going, yes, let's, let's do this. And the, and the writers there going, yes, let's do this. So this, again, if they're putting out a novel shortly or, or this is out of this kind of thing, uh, and he's got another novel coming out shortly, I know that, uh, through the Black Library, then it's not Amazon doing it. It's, it's Games Workshop uh, is rotted to its core. And that's what we've been trying to say here uh, this entire time. I, and so I think these rumors like really don't have anything to do with Games Workshop, right? It, it, the, the Amazon is doing their own thing independently. Games Workshop is also woke. They're all disasters is what it comes down to. There's no need to make excuses on behalf of this company. They're not being uh, strong-armed into this. They are gleefully walking into wokeness. And that they hate you. That's what this is about. And that's why we're so outraged about it. So here it is. Uh, starting your Adeptus Custodes army. So you get into this and they talk about the near-mythical space marines, the finest humanities war, trans-human angels of death. Uh, uh, they're starting to work these words into here too. Uh, trans. You know what that means. You know what's coming soon. <laughs> the god Emperex, not Emperor anymore, right? Uh, and so, uh, fortunately, they are still calling him the Emperor and he, and, and uh, using him as a he for now. For now. They mentioned the Sisters of Silence. It's interesting how feminism and the, the women's groups that are, that are all women's groups still do get to be all women's groups. Have you noticed that? It's only the men's groups that have to like be diversified and add in something. Why, why aren't you letting us in, you anti-woman bigot? Oh, well, the Sisters of Silence, I mean, the, if they had men in them, they, they'd be strictly better, wouldn't they? <laughs> maybe, we should, maybe we should just like really, I don't know. It's part of me likes to go full black pill and just like say, let's let's just push them even further and uh, and put, put transgender men into the Sisters of Silence just to like really ruin it at this point. <laughs> I mean, they've already ruined it. So let's uh, let's sink them down even faster. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, but it's it's funny to, to think about. So. They keep going, and as you go through what they say here, and uh, we talked about this video too. They put po- they posted this faction focus and got super ratioed on YouTube, uh, uh, about a four to one dislike to like uh, ratio, and are, and they're blocking comments, of course, of, of people uh, who are are um, critical of this. Here we go. So the custodian guard have been part of the Imperium as long as records existed, and they've been men as long as records existed. Uh, oh, it doesn't say that on here. They. And here we go, guys. They were the Emperor's companions throughout the conflict of the Crusade before, standing by his side, protecting him through the greatest conflicts in human history. The story of their origins is known to few, but themselves, uh, for outsiders, anything about them. So you're, you're going to say, okay, well, this is, this is plural, so that is the correct uh, usage of they, but you notice they're never going to refer to them as he in this entire uh, little spiel here. So there's the emperor to make Adeptus Custodes, the truth hidden within, crude cave etchings, hieroglyphics, stasis locked, scraps of parchment, gene sealed tomes no living person can open, 
These fragments speak trusted bodyguards and advisors, great victories, monstrous beings. There's a similar lack of detail about their uh, role in the Horus Heresy. It goes beyond the usual sparsity of apocryphal sources in that dark time. It is thought that the first custodies leader was a warrior named Constantine Valdor who disappeared from the records in the Horus Heresy. It's impossible to separate myth from fact. This is what they're using, by the way, to gaslight you to say that there have always been women in there. Uh, because, uh, oh, it's just mythical. You know, I mean, we don't even know the truth, right? That's what they're trying to do. But you keep going through here. Uh, and the custodians are progeny of the emperor. Uh, his might permeates from them, burns their eyes, throws their brains as truly as his blood. His hand shows clearly in every aspect of their creation, their abilities, even their outlook. Uh, potential custodians are taken at a very young age. So uh, it used to be men are taken at a young age, and they change this. So this is... Uh, this is just something. To survive the rigors, rigors of their transformation. Yes. No older than late infancy, for the fundamental changes will be wrought upon their flesh, minds, souls. Tantamount. Uh, it's considered a great honor for those of Terran noble houses to submit a child. Again, there's no gender in here. They're, they're, they're removing it intentionally. This is, this is really insidious, and it's so subtle. Uh, they also seek uh, out suitable candidates by other means or encounter them uh, on their throne world. None besides the custodians themselves truly know what criteria they require. Well, they used to be men, for one. They used to say this. How a custodian is made is arcane and ancient process born out of the mind of the emperor himself, made up of decades of alchemical augmentation, fit psychological, cognitive conditioning, and mimetic training. So there it is. Uh, those who bar bear the mark of the pariah, such individuals. Look at this. Uh, there's no gender listed, listed in here. This is This is aimed at changing things uh and so they're they're very careful not to phrase things in a way that's going to piss off the woke they're very careful to phrase things that you might even not notice this if you're just coming into this new you would have no idea and that that's the intention here that is the gaslighting of the rewriting of this history here uh absolutely crazy stuff right here but that's why i think it's not amazon this is why they're doing it intentionally themselves they've been doing it in the fiction for years, it's just getting noticed now. There's been a lot worse. I mean, it, like in these books with these these pronouns that uh, Mike Brooks are putting into here, it's disgusting. And it's going to continue to get worse. And that's why we need to move on. So there's lots of uh, lots of stuff going on. I, I, I'm looking at, a, at an alternative uh, by a guy. And uh, if it looks interesting, I, I'll be reporting on that shortly. Uh, for now, 3D printers go burr, my friends. And make sure to check out new lores in new worlds because... Warhammer's gone. Uh, grab the stars and twine. This is in the description below. And along with my other books, I've got comics on my bookstore too. Uh, Overmind's a great one if you like uh, just some action pack comic stuff. Uh, and uh, thanks guys for supporting so hard over the last couple weeks. It's been amazing. And uh, I appreciate you for being there. And uh, we've got a Space Marine comic on the way too. It's called The Emerald Array. And it's going to be hitting later this year. The artist uh, just got the script. I just finished it. Uh, I, I write scripts, uh, you know, as fast as the professionals do because I am a professional. I'm just blacklisted by these stupid corporations. All right. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Am I right? I don't think Amazon had anything to do with it. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.